Today I'm going to show you how to do some stuff to make your own basketball game. You have to be able to carry the basketball. You should be able to dribble it. Haven't done that yet, but you also need to pass. Today I'm going to concentrate on passing. Passing and carrying, right? But the next video, we're going to shoot. Go ahead and shoot. Boom. Brah, there we go. I made it. And you can miss too. Whoops, pick it up. You can miss. Let's get over here. I'll intentionally miss. Click there on the backboard. Ah, oh, I missed. So if you're interested in making a basketball game, you're going to need to know how to shoot, dribble, carry, pass. I'm going to do those in subsequent videos. Today, carry and pass. First thing we're going to need to do is get a ball. So I'm going to go over to my part, hit that little arrow, add a sphere, right? And this is going to be the handle of an accessory. So I'll call that handle has to be spelled just like that we can make it a decent color i don't know like an orange or something that's a uh, bright yellow there we go and then i'm going to keep it plastic we're going to change the size we'll do like 1.5 by 1.5 by 1.5 did i get a 1.5 there we go 1.5 all right now what else do we need to do we got to drag that into an accessory so workspace hit the plus Hit an A, there's accessory. Accessory, I'm gonna call ball, right? So, ball. And then I'm gonna drag my handle inside the ball. So you have to have it called a handle if it's an accessory because that's where Roblox is gonna look for your attachment. So let's go to the handle, hit the plus, hit an A, there's the attachment, but we're gonna give that a special name. What are we gonna call it? Let's go over to our avatar tab, hit the rig builder, R15, I'll add, how about mesh avatar 2012, that's my favorite. And we're gonna go to his hand. I'm gonna put it in the right hand, but I'm gonna do the animation so it looks like both hands are grabbing the ball. So in the right hand, I'm gonna look for right grip attachment. I'm gonna click on it a second time so that it highlights like that. I'll do a control C to copy that name so I don't get a spelling error. I'm gonna go all the way up to my ball, handle, attachment. I'm gonna change the name, control V. Right grip attachment. All right, what happens if we drag this into the rig right now? Boom, well, we're getting close. Gotta do a little bit of, of adjustment though. Let's try to get the attachment on the ball in the right position so that it's gonna look good when the rig's carrying the ball out in front of them. We'll go ahead and hit ball under the rig and then there's a handle, open that up and we're gonna do the right grip attachment. Make sure your model tab has movement set to like 0.1 studs, something, something with a fine granularity. We're gonna go to the move tool and I'm gonna push this up because I'm on the attachment, which is gonna push the ball down. Maybe we'll go, what, one, two, three. And then I'm gonna pull the arrow this way, which is gonna make the ball go the opposite direction. One, two, three. And what do you think? I think, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get for a video. Let's start on our animation. So I'm gonna go side view. I'm gonna hit the avatar tab. I'm gonna go to the animation editor. I'll click on the rig. And then I'm gonna call this like uh, ball carry. Ball carry. There you go. And we'll go hit these three dots right here. We're gonna go to set animation priority, action, and save. Now my scrubber bar is at the zero, zero mark. I'm gonna go to this upper shoulder right here. Let me hit the E key to move up a little bit. And let's move them up maybe 60 degrees this way. Cool, and then I'll move it in, I don't know, how about 15 for now. All right, let's get this arm, move it up 60 degrees. Cool, let's move this one in. 15. You know what? I'm going to have to go a little bit higher granularity on my rotate. I'm going to take that thing down to five degree increments. 
and then I'll just do like maybe two clicks here one two and then get this shoulder this shoulder upper arm right one I don't know that's looking pretty good like that you're not gonna get it perfect unless you spend hours which we don't have so let's get the lower arm we need to put some keyframes here I'm gonna go back to 15 degrees because I actually don't need to move the lower arm I need to just get some keyframes on there by pushing on it watch down here you can see something happens boom we got a keyframe because we're gonna be bouncing around overriding our walk animation so I just push on that too cool yeah I think we got it and then should we get the head you probably don't need the head all right that's good let's save it off let's go ahead and hit the three dots hit save check your animation priority once again ah oh, yeah it's action and then we're gonna publish the Roblox cool ball carry let's hit the submit get this ID right here you're gonna need that click and then we're gonna close we are going to go to the ball accessory in the rig. That's going to be our model. We're going to hit the plus, hit an A, get an animation. Before you do anything weird, you're going to do a control V to paste that number right there that you got from the submit, right? You need your own number for that. Cool. And now you can make it something to make sense we're going to be doing a shoot animation we're going to have dribble stuff too so let's call this carry anim right it makes sense now if you get here and you decide you want to modify your animation it's not hard and you can keep the same number just click here to continue using the animation editor Boom, if you gotta load it, three dots, hit load, ball carry, it's already loaded. Let's modify the animation by toggling looping animation, right? Toggling looping animation. And then we're gonna hit the three dots. I'm gonna save it to the avatar. And then I'm gonna come down here, publish to Roblox again. But this time I'm gonna make sure and overwrite my ball carry, right? I got a bunch of them. It's this one right so i'm going to hit submit boom and 317 those are the last numbers right if i save it i can save it but you might not want to have to paste it again 317 it's the same animation so you should be good to go if you want to modify things or maybe you forget your number just rewrite it get the number Let's fire that animation up and get it working. We're gonna to go to our ball accessory, hit the plus, hit an S for script. There we go. I'm gonna do everything server side because we're gonna have a lot of people grabbing that basketball. So we're not gonna do client stuff. Too much trade off, too much keeping track of stuff. So I'm gonna call this ball MGR for ball manager. All right, we can close this. Let's go over, I'll make this print bigger so that you can see the code a little easier but I'm going to delete the print all right let's do a variable for ball ACC for ball accessory that's going to equal script dot parent and then what else let's get the ball right that's actually the handle of the ball accessory ball accessory dot handle and then I'm going to need a variable for the character that's carrying the ball I'm going to call that char that has me so we're thinking in terms of the ball what character has the ball all right and then let's get a carry in him and where is that ball accessory dot carry in him that's what it was our animation and then I'm gonna make a variable for this carry track carry track but I'm going to initialize it to not true nil what I am going to do is I'm going to get a can pass debounce right a variable I'm going to call that true I was like getting ahead of myself a little so then we're also going to need a cooldown for the passing and that's going to be a one one second so you can't pass more than one second you don't want the ball being traded back and forth too quickly 
I'm going to make a couple more helper variables, or helper functions, local function. I'll call that get hume. We're actually going to get the hume from the player, right? We're going to call that more than once, so that's why I'm making it a function. So I need to get the char from the player. We get the player dot character or player dot ha oh man character added weight straight and then we'll get the humanoid from the character char and what we got wait for child wait for child humanoid a lot of letters there didn't make any mistakes that i i don't think so and now we'll do a return hume right so we can call that whenever we need the humanoid from the player also local function how about a how about a load animation that'll work load anim and we'll pass in the humanoid we'll also pass in the animation when there's more than one animation but right now there's only one animation so let's just do a local animator we'll get that from the hume wait for child animator and let's get the track from the animator when we load an animation anim oh let's call this let's let's do that let's pass in the animation right because we're going to build out on this and M's and N's, man. They get me. Okay. So we'll pass that in. We got to remember that. We'll do a return track. Cool. So we'll call this. We'll return to track. What else? Let's go ahead and do. How about a touched event for the ball? So just go ahead and connect that touched event. To a function other parts gonna get passed in and we'll do a local player game dot player so we're gonna get the player service we we'll use the get player from character to see if the other parts parent is a character yeah, I'll go ahead and move this a little bit, right like that. So if this is like a foot or something, the parent's going to be the character. You're going to get the player. You might not get a player, though, because it might be, you know, it might have bounced on the floor or the backdrop of your basketball net. So if the player and can pass, we should have a, a debounce, then we'll make can pass false. And then we'll do if char that has me. Does a char have me or not? If it is nil, it's on the ground. No character is carrying around the ball. So we'll do a local hume and we'll get hume using a little helper function above. Pass in the player. And now we'll do hume colon add accessory. And we'll get the ball accessory. So we're going to add that to the character. The animation, we need to fire that up, right? Oh, also, let's get the char that has me and update that, right? So now the char that has me is actually the ball accessory parent, which is the character, right? And then we'll get the carry track. How about that? We'll do a load animation hume and then what do we call our animation we called it carry anim there we go don't forget we got to pass that in i wasn't going to do that there but i changed my mind so then we'll get our carry track and we will play all right so we can't pass it around or anything oh and then let's uh let's go ahead and wait for our cooldown, and then we'll do can pass equals true let's just see if we can pick this up we can't pass yet what we're going to have to do to pass is going to be right here we're going to do a else if player dot name does not equal 
char that has me. So if the player's name, ooh, dot name, then. So the character's name in Roblox is the same as the player's name. So we're gonna check to see if the character that has me is different than the player that actually touched the ball up here that we got. If it is, we're gonna make a pass. I was gonna test the game, but let's, let's just go ahead and finish this off. So we'll get our carry track and stop it. What does that mean? So the other humanoid has the carry track, the one that's carrying the ball now, that's gonna stop. This is a little tricky, right? So that's gonna stop. And then we're gonna get the ball accessory dot parent, and we're gonna make it the workspace. That's gonna pop the accessory off the character, which is the ball, right? And then we're gonna get a new humanoid get hume from player i spell that right we will get that hume and add the accessory right which is the ball accessory so we're taking the accessory off of one character we'll put it on the other and it's the ball right but then let's update the char that has me the char that has me is now the ball accessory parent. Whew, even I gotta think about this a little bit. All right, so we take it off of one character, we put it on the other. We have this guy to keep track of who has the ball in the script. And what else? Let's get our carry track. Load anim, hume, carry anim. Oh, almost, oh, and then play it. Carry track play. Woo! All right, that's tricky. We're gonna do other stuff in here too. So we will continue our if statement when we have to add more things. Let's go ahead and play this. See if we could pick the ball up and carry it around. We're also gonna have to see if we could pass it. Let's try the ball carry first. Let's go over here. Let's pop that ball into the workspace, right? Because we can't take it from characters yet. And then we'll hit the play. See if we can pick it up with no errors. Then we're gonna use the tester to see if we can take it from other players. There's my output window. Let's go ahead and click. Make this bigger, there we go. And boom. Ah, oh, sanitization error, which means I gotta take a break, wait for Roblox to update my sanitization or uh, my, my IDs and stuff for my animations. All right, so this is Sunday morning. All day Saturday, my sanitized ID error kept popping up. I'm gonna try it today. And it looks like it's going all right today. All right, so I hope they do something about that. Maybe try and rename your animation. I didn't do anything like that. I just waited and it worked. But let's go ahead and try the passing now using the test player. So if we go to test, we could hit stop here and we're going to start up with two players to see if we could pass back and forth. I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to wait for that. All right, so I got my player one, place one. If you want to look at the server for messages, look for the window that says server right here and your messages will be print out. I'm just going to pull it off to the side a little bit and let's pick up our player one. That's looking good. What does the server say? No messages, good. Player two's got it. I'm gonna look for my other place. Yep, he's running around. Oh, he just passed it off. That's pretty good. Sweet. All right, looks like it's working. 